Hi there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on surface area and volume. Now in this video, we'll discuss some of the more extra questions which are very important from the concepts point of view. By doing this question or watching this question on this video part, you will be able to extend your concepts further, which will be very helpful while doing the examination question. So let's get started with the first question, which is question number one. Now. The question says that the water for factory is stored in a hemispherical tank whose internal diameter is 40 meters and you should make a note it's a hemispherical tank and the tank contains 50 kiloliters of water. Water is pumped into a tank to fill its capacity. We need to calculate the volume of water pumped into the tank. So we need to find how much volume of water is pumped into the tank. Right. So first of all. Let's do this question very quickly and first of all we need to write the dimensions, right? So it's given that it's a hemispherical tank, right? And internal diameter is 14 meters, right? And the tank contains 50 kiloliters. Of water, right? We need to find how much more water is pumped into the tank. So means first of all we need to find the whole capacity of a hemispherical tank. Then we need to find how much more water can be pumped in the tank, right? So this is how we have to do this question. So we can write volume of hemispherical tank can be written as 2 by 3 pi r cube, right? Now, over here, internal diameter is given. So, we need to find the half of diameter to get the radius, right? So, this can be written as 2 by 3 into pi. The value of pi is not given. So, we can take pi as 22 by 7. So, this will be 22 by 7 into 14 by 2 whole cube. So, this will be 2 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 7 cube. So, this will be 2 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 7 times 7 times 7, right? So, this and this get cancelled. So, this will be 2 times 22 times 7 times 7 is 49 upon 3. So, this will be 44 into 49 upon 3, right? So, when you solve this, this will come out to be 718.67 kiloliters of water. So, how kiloliters of water? See, the answer should come in or we can say this should come in or we can write as 718.67 meter cube. Why? Because 1 meter cube is 1000 liters. So, this means 1 meter cube can also be written as 1 kiloliters, right? So, this means if you find the answer in meter cube, it can be directly written as in kiloliters, right? So, we have the capacity of hemispherical tank as 718 kiloliters. Now, it's given that tank contains 50 kiloliters of water, right? So, this means water or we can say volume of water pumped into tank will be equals to volume of hemispherical tank minus the volume of water in tank which is already there right so this means this can be written as 718.67 this is a capacity of hemispherical tank take away the volume of water in a tank which is 50 so, when you subtract this, this will come out to be 668.67 kiloliters of water. So, this means this much amount of water can be pumped into the tank. So, this is how we can solve 
various types of question. Now let's discuss the next question which is question number 2. Now the question says that the volume of two spheres are in the ratio 64 by 27. So we need to find the ratio of the surface areas. So let's see how we can solve this question. It's a very interesting question. So we can write over here volume of sphere let it be V1 upon volume of another sphere let's say it's second sphere V2 is 64 by 27 it's given right so we can write V1 upon V2 as 64 by 27 now we know that volume of sphere volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube right so we can write over here as 4 by 3 pi r1 cube upon 4 by 3 pi r2 cube equals to 64 by 27 right so this and this get cancelled so this will be r1 cube upon r2 cube equals to 64 by 27 right so this means we can write r1 upon r2 cube as 64 by 27 right so we can write r1 upon r2 whole cube as now 64 can be written as 4 times 4 times 4 upon 27 can be written as 3 times 3 times 3 right so we can write r1 upon r2 whole cube as 4 cube by 3 cube right so we can write r1 upon r2 whole cube as 4 by 3 cube right so this and this get cancelled so we have r1 upon r2 as 4 by 3 so we have ratio of the radius as 4 by 3 now now we need to find the ratio of the surface areas right so we can write surface area of sphere 1 let it be s1 upon surface area of sphere s2 will be equals to what we can say 4 pi r1 square upon 4 pi r2 square right so this and this get cancelled or we can write as s1 upon s2 as r1 upon r2 whole square now so we have s1 upon s2 as now we have r1 up upon r2 as 4 by 3 so we can write so it will be 4 by 3 square so we have s1 upon s2 as 16 by 9 right so this means we can write or we can say that ratio of surface areas will be equals to 16 is to 9. So this is how we can use the concept of volume and surface area of sphere to solve any type of question. Now let's move on to the next question which is question number 3 and which is also a last question of this video. Now the question says that a cube of side 4 cm contains a sphere touching its sides like this. So it's touching on the top bottom everywhere we need to find the volume of gap in between so it's very interesting question and very different question so let's see we how we can solve this question right now it's first of all we need to write the dimensions so it's given the side of q is 4 centimeter right and it contains a sphere touching its sides means this side and this side so you, if you can see properly the diameter of a sphere right will be equals to the 
length of a cube if you can see properly because it's touching the sides and if it's touching the side then if you pass or we can take if, if we take half of a sphere it is a diameter so it is exactly equals to the length of a cube right so we can say that the side of q is equals to the diameter of sphere right so this means we have diameter of sphere as 4 cm right so we have the both of this now we need to find the volume so first let's find the volume of q so we can say that the volume of q will be equals to a cube right so where a is side of q right so we can write then volume of q will be equal to side q so it will be 4 times 4 times 4 so it will be 64 centimeter cube right now over here we need to find the volume of sphere so all we know that volume of sphere can be written as 4 by 3 pi r cube right now over here the value of pi is not given we can take pi as 22 by 7 so this will be equals to 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into r cube now over here r is not given it's given the diameter of a sphere so we need to take a half of this so this will be 4 by 2 cube right so this will come out to be 4 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 2 cube right so this will be 4 times 22 by 3 into 7 times 8 right so when you solve this this will come out to be 704 upon 21 centimeter cube right now this is the volume of sphere now we need to find the volume of gap right now if you can see properly this volume is empty this volume is empty this volume is empty this volume is empty right you can see properly now sphere is enclosed inside the cube so this means the cube has greater volume or larger volume you you have to be very cl clear and very very perfect while solving these type of question why because you have to be very attentive because well if you take volume of sphere as larger then how how the sphere can fit into the cube right so it clearly implies that the volume of cube is larger than the volume of sphere right so we can say that volume of gap in between will be equals to volume of cube minus volume of sphere right so this means we can write volume of gap will be equals to 64 this is the volume of cube minus volume of sphere so which is 704 upon 21 right so if you solve this let's say we solve this 704 divided by 21 right and it should be taken away from 64 so when you solve this this will come out to be 640 upon 21 centimeter cube and if you take it into decimals so this will come out to be 30.48 centimeter cube approx right it's the nearest digit right or we can say that the volume of gap in between is 30.48 centimeter cube so this is how we can use the concepts of volume of cube or volume of sphere to solve these type of questions so thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com keep watching for the videos have a nice day Bye.